you're a fan of the ex-royals, it may be time, if particularly if you're a media baron or mogul, to actually get your checkbook out. Let me explain more. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. Nice to have your company as ever. If you're looking at this beautiful building behind me today, this is Cadogan Hall. This is a refurbished church. In fact, it was a redundant church for many years and uh, been supremely refurbished, let me tell you. It is the home of the Philharmonic Orchestra right now, but they put on many different concerts. I saw the wonderful British rocker, Joe Brown there. He was wonderful. And this great atmosphere, in fact. Um, other big legends that have appeared you may have heard of, of course, are the, is this a way to Amarillo star Tony Christie he appeared there so many big names well worth a visit in the heart of Chelsea if you get a moment or two just to go in and look at the architecture uh, put together way back in the 1800s by Robert Chisholm and just um, a spectacular real venue you know I like these older venues don't you they give more atmosphere than the barren concrete or sort of tin things that we're now told to sit in to watch cinema I'm showing my age again, aren't I? You know, better shut up or get told off. Back as ever, though, to your breaking royal story of the day. This particular story, you know, you have to sort of admire the ex-royals that are Harry and Meghan. Of course, as we've told you many times on the show, they make money now by simply selling themselves. They are a brand, a celebrity couple, albeit not very big right now, particular over here in the United Kingdom. Uh, they're having lots of problems, you know, associated with their brand. You know, we have, of course, uh, the half-sister suing Meghan, and actually citing her Meghan Markle rather than the Duchess of Sussex in court papers as ever we have to say allegedly but it's interesting isn't it they just seem to attract sort of bad PR wherever they turn but are they are now about to turn it round themselves and here's how According to a very good source, you know, when they first went over to California, they weren't very keen on really exposing themselves to the media, as one can imagine. We do know that Harry likes to get out and about on his bike or feed his chickens, as we know that, because they showed us those in the Oprah Winfrey interview. Riveting stuff, didn't you think? But now, of course, they're having to look at how they're going to make money to keep their profile up. And that's really important when you're trying to sell things like books, TV series, podcasts, that sort of stuff. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't believe next month it's going to be four years since that uh, spectacle out at Windsor. You know the one I'm talking about. And because of that, and they want to defy their critics, I've been told, as ever, we have to say allegedly, that Harry and Meghan are open to a glossy magazine interview. Now, don't expect any great revelations. Do expect them to have to pay quite a lot for this. It would be interesting, of course, to get a peek into their world because all we've seen so far is a peek into Meghan's desk when she put out the video for 40 times 40. Remember that? Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, we don't really know too much about how they live, what they do. And this would be a great way for them, allegedly, as ever, we have to say, to defy their critics. Uh, but as ever, when you're a celebrity, there has to come at a price. And we're not quite sure exactly what that price would be to sit down for an informal chat along with glossy pictures, similar to what we saw with the Time magazine front cover, you know, where they run towards trouble. You know the sort of pictures? The one, you know, where he looked like a hairdresser, dealing with dry locks after over blow drying it in the salon. You get the picture. That is exactly apparently what they want to do, sort of set the record straight on their terms. And of course, this is a way back, particularly for Prince Harry, to start the onslaught of the much needed PR to make sure that his ventures, at least the Invictus documentary, the forthcoming book, and of course, her particular ventures with Netflix and her Spotify podcast, get some much needed and more importantly, positive PR. As ever, when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.